perfusion is an important part in making semiconductors or computer chips. But what is diffusion exactly? Grab yourself a piece of candy and let's find out. Chip Kids, you ready to learn? Let's go! What's good, what's up, I miss Poe. Chip Kids, welcome to our show. All about devices, let's get locked in. Integrate chips, then we're going for the win. Fun experiments with the kids to tie in the STEM, STEM. Uh-huh, Miss Poe, teach us a thing or two with a C-H-I-P-K-I-D-S. Let's learn. Diffusion is the movement of molecules from areas of high concentration to low concentration. I think some of the um, color from the candy is going to disappear and go inside the water. I think that when you put the candy on the plate and once you've put them in a circle and you put the water on them, it'll start to diffuse the candy and the color will start coloring the water. I just had a test on this. The candy is a high concentration of sugar and coloring, so the molecules will gradually move toward the plain water. First, you'll take your sugar-coated candies and place them on your plate in a circle. We're going to put the candy around inside the circle. When I put the water in, it's going to make like one of those poopy brown cones. Can I eat the rest? You will take your water and pour just enough on the plate to touch the bottom of the can. What now? Now, let's set a timer for five minutes to see our results. It looks like already, now that I've poured the water in there, the color off of the candy is like melting. This makes me together a little bit. I can see some of the color disappearing. Looks like a rainbow. I think the color is gonna come off the candy, but then when it mixes, it's gonna make a poopy brown color like I said before. Yeah, the water is turning the colors of the candy. Yeah, this looks like the five minute craft video I watched. Ship Kids is better than five minute crafts because I'm on it. I think the colors are moving towards the center. I actually see it spinning more. I think it actually might hit the middle of it. And you said this process is called diffusion? Give them a closer look, AP. Building microelectronic devices like transistors on a microchip allows us to change what the microchip can do. Some chips do calculations, others store data, but each device is made a little differently. Since pure silicon has set properties when it comes to conductivity, they need to introduce other materials to alter it to get the desired effect. Diffusion is where molecules move from a high concentration to low concentration. One example of diffusion is how sodas go flat after being open. This is caused by carbon dioxide, the source of a soda's bubbly carbonation, diffusing into the relatively low concentration of carbon dioxide in the air around us. With microchips, we can expose a semiconductor like silicon to gas or liquid, containing other elements to chemically alter the composition of the wafer. Combined with other approaches like photolithography and etching, engineers can build different kinds of devices. This is just one of the tools we use to design and manufacture microchips that can power our world. What did you think would happen when you poured the water on the plate? Are you surprised by the results? This takes a long time. So wait, this is how molecules work? Mm, it's not brown, it's still a rainbow. And it's better from the one on five minute crafts because I did it. Diffusion is important to understand because this is the process used to make transistors, which are the brains of our computer chips. Chip Kids!